I mean, when you ask your question, keep quiet so that. But, but Senator, when I when I do not agree with you, I have to cut it. No, but when so that we can get clarity, can you ask me? Let me finish before ahead, you please. say I, that one is a lie. Why? I, I, me, for example, go that to to. to uh, we have it. We have the we have the we have the table. Double. NJC, 341 million. Uh -huh. now, hmm, my people, a lot is happening in the political zone. I will continue to tell you, a lot is happening in the political zone. Shio Nokimbalo, he actually made a whole lot of statements and questioned him in this video. As Senator Yundume never expected everything that Shio Nokimbalo was actually asking in China's news TV, my people. Everything that actually happened in the Senate House was actually revealed here. And Shio Nokimbalo still remained a standard. What Senator Ningi actually did, he stand with him. And what he did was actually right. What he exposed in the Senate House was actually, you will see in this video, even this senator that was actually invited never expected all these questions that Shion Kimbalo actually asked him. Shion Kimbalo is one of those journalists that ask a lot of questions and they ask these questions fearlessly. You could see where this senator was actually saying he should shut up my people. Stay close and watch what he actually asked this man. This man was shocked the moment Shion Kimbalo asked him this question. My people, share this video to every social media platform. If you cannot share, like it, give it a thumbs up so that YouTube will recommend it for us. We'll be back in a Jiffy. The whole of crime scene is happening in the street again. The center of political news, celebrity gossip, religious gossip, and happiness in the society. Join us, the voice of Africa. Welcome you to Lagu Pop TV show where we bring you political, celebrity, and religious gossip. If you have not yet subscribed to this channel, do well to click the red subscription button and don't forget to click the bell icon so that YouTube will notify you anytime we drop another trendy video. <laughs> My people, with everything that is actually happening in the Senate House in Nigeria that has actually drawn a lot of reaction from nigerians my people it was a very big dramatic moment in channel tv in the moment she okimbaloye had some odd questions from senator indume and senator indume never expected all this, all this question even to the point that i had to tell she okimbaloye to shut up and she okimbaloye was actually making a mockery of him inside the studio as at the time he asked the question because senator indume never expected all these things and she okimbaloye made a stand he made senator indume to understand his ground on this senator ningi's issue of suspension that actually occurred in the senate house yesterday and he even said the whole lot of things that actually drops people's attention you will see in the video the moment shion nakimbalo was actually laughing because the senator never expected that shion could ask all those questions and the way he was bombarding this man with a whole lot of questions in nigeria it has drawn a whole lot of reaction and nigerians are actually saying that these senators all of them are just there for their own selfish interest because let us check it out with what he said he said all animals in the jungle are not actually equal that is the reason why the 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 allocation of money to every district is not the same thing now the question is is the allocation of funds to this senate are these are being allocated based on the the work that needs to be done in each district are this money being allocated to these senators based on the work that they want to do on their district or based on their levels in the senate because you could see when he was saying that he is a senior senator in the house and that is the reason why he is being given 500 million and she knocking value actually burst out in hunger and he said that they have been checking all these districts since all this way that the money has been allocated to all these senators all the past senators that they, all this money has been allocated they never they never did anything instead of them to they already have a whole lot of dead projects in all these areas and they never finish all the project what is the money what are this money the money that have been allocated for all this work what are they being used for what have they been used for? that's the reason why most nigerians are actually fuming seriously presently now that in a situation whereby you have been given 200 million and some are also giving 500 million and at the end of the day you have nothing to show for it nigerians are being concerned if you see what shinokimbalo did in this video you will stand up and even upload shinokimbalo my people stay close as well you'll be watching everything and after the video i will come back and we wrap up about everything that's actually going on my people stay close we'll be right back now we have an active southern uh senators forum what does this mean i will remind everyone what senator kwami bamide said on the floor yesterday and perhaps Maybe the reason why we're seeing what we're seeing today, plus the budget pardon allegation, our eyes are not off that radar. We'll be putting attention on that one. We'll be asking Senator Ndumine here and what he and his colleagues, whether Senator Ndumine also got 500 million worth of constituency project in Bronu, in Goza, where he comes from. We'll be right back after this break, everyone. Thank you. Um, but yesterday, you and your colleagues suspended uh, Senator Abdunengi from Bauchi. But you realize that that was an illegal decision by you and your colleagues, isn't it? I don't know. You don't think it's an illegal? Well, I... you you have been you you've been uh, punished also by your colleagues. Yes. Suspended. The difference is, I was suspended on facts that I presented.
I, I, I was suspended because there was serious allegation then that Saraki illegally imported a bulletproof Range Rover without paying the duties. And uh, it was also an allegation, not allegation, there was a proof that uh, uh, actually uh, Dino Milai didn't have a, a, a certificate. And, uh, you know, I proved that. The, the, the Range Rover, purported Range Rover, is now being used by EFCC because it was confiscated and the president gave EFCC then. And up to now, again, that uh, issue of uh, uh, whether, whether uh, uh, Dino completed uh, university or not is something that is in the public domain now, debate and all that. But, so, Senator, but then they went ahead and suspended me for six months, which was illegal. I went to court, and the court said it was wrong. But then I served the, uh, the, the punishment. The punishment. But the advantage is that the court ordered that all my entitlements should be paid. That is the biggest uh, savings that I've ever made in my life. Hmm. But the, the question here is that there are judgments of court. And, I mean, they're recent as uh, to the one uh, Senator Ovio Omagege. Uh, that the court has laid that the, it's precedence. Uh, there's a precedent by the court, and that's not been shifted, and it has not been ruled over. Mm. That the National Assembly does not have the power to deprive the people of, of their constituency of their representation, and that those who argue, Senator, that whatever Senator Ningi did was outside of the chamber, and there are those who are arguing that it has criminal in nature. That should have been reported to the police, which has jurisdiction to do, to act on it. Do you agree? No, I don't. Look, I I don't want to go into that. His governor is strongly behind him. Yeah, it's it's natural. There are some members in the Senate. I I tried yesterday, as you can see, if you watch, not to get to that level, but I didn't succeed. And uh, when they put it into voice vote, you still had people that said nay. So it's normal in democracy like ours, where the majority will have its way and uh, the minority have, have its say. Uh, I said yesterday, I tried to douse the tension and try to beg Kuningi uh, um, uh, uh, to apologize and um, also to uh, beg the presiding officer to, you know, be, be temper it. Um, but what worried me yesterday, let me be honest with you, I sit next to the leader. The leader was very, the leader of the Senate was very angry of what uh, Tinubu did, and I mean, Senator mm -hmm. Ningi did. But honestly, to me too, it was wrong. What he did was wrong, because I was involved. In the first instance, it started, there was, remember, I, I hear, I discussed with you, when they said the uh, capital project in the budget was skewed to the South, and that out of the 15 trillion, Eh? Uh, south and north go to 2.5 and that uh, this so i came here and i told you that the total in that time that was brought before us by the president is not up to 9 trillion it was 8.9 and they are talking about skewed uh, uh, capital project to, to, to this to the south uh, and the total adding up to 15 um, 15 trillion <laughs> That 15 trillion is strange. Even with the amendment that we made, the capital component of this budget is not up to 10 so trillion. So what you're saying is that Senator Ningi, in your own, uh, in the sensibility of some of the senators that are angry, was trying to ethnicize the, the and politicize yes, that is it. the budget. That is it, which was wrong, totally. Ningi shouldn't have done that. But, you know why? Because I'm involved. I told him. When he brought the figures, I to, I, he said, the first instance, I said, get and consult her to analyze the budget. If the North is shortchanged, we will stand up to that. We will not agree. We will not. And I still say it here that if a North, the North in any way is shortchanged, I will not agree. But there's no evidence. How can I say that the South have changed, so change us if I don't have any evidence? I am the vice chairman of appropriation in the Senate. And we, the Northerners, as you see, the Southern Senators are 51, we are 58. And I believe that every Senator from the North is patriotic. He cares for his own and the North, and it's normal. And it's also okay for our 51 Senators from the South, as they did today, to come together to protect the interests commonly.
There's, there's nothing wrong with that. But then I cannot accuse the South. It's wrong. I am an adult, not an adult, getting to an old man, 64 years old, a senator. If I see facts, I told Ningi when he says so, I said, well, let's go uh, to the public. Was this discord and the senators, Northern Senators Forum? Yeah, they were uh, the senators uh, uh, at the Northern Senators Forum, and they agreed. I was not there to see the Senate president. I was there because I was asked to be there. Ningi asked me to be there. But I told him if he has evidence, let him show me and I'll be in the forefront. In fact, I told him that I will do a press conference. You read the, uh, this thing. I will sit on the left and the cow will sit there and they will get another person from all the uh, northern geopolitical zone to, put, to present our point to the public. To my greatest surprise, when he agreed that we should see the Senate president, and the Senate president, when after his presentation, he said, well, I don't know anything about this. Let me have the document. I will get somebody to analyze it, and then we'll know the next step. And going public the way he did is not the solution. Because, yes, let's assume that the North has been so changed. The next thing is, how do, we, how do you pay us back? If you, give, you, you are supposed to take... 10 and I, I, I'm supposed to have 10 and I discovered that you gave me 5 and then you took 10. The next thing is give me my 5 balance. Mm -hmm. Okay, where do we get it for you? We do a supplementary budget. We do environment. Mm -hmm. We do amendment. Well, Senator, uh, did you, uh, I mean, some of you are sen uh, senior senators as in court and ranking senators. We're said to have uh, taken uh, about 500 million value of constituency project. How, mo how many did you get? How much did you get? Let me tell you about that. And uh, that is what I want uh, to, 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 to address the public here so that they get, uh, you know, enlightened about it. This constituency project is not a new thing. In America, you stayed in America, you know in the American poli poli politics, they call it... Uh, um, Fuck Baron. Fuck Baron. Mm -hmm. In fact, their own is worse than our own, if it is by that standard. Because of the involvement of the lawmaker? Yes, the lawmaker, if you give him, if you are, they allocate funds for him, he decides what to do with that money in his constituency. And it's given to them discretionarily. Not the same. If you are an APC, you get more. If you are in a Republican, and now in Nigeria, for example, in, in this thing, if you are, right now, it's Democrats that has the majority. So most of the Democrats, so lawyers, I mean, uh, senators, lawmakers. Uh, lawmakers, will have more than their counterpart as a uh, Republican. Is that what is playing out in the, in the Senate? No, we are very nice to PDP, despite the fact that they didn't treat us like that when we were... But you, go, you got 500 million and some of the rankings are not in PDP. Put it in your record. What did you get? Wait now. It's Senator. Not get, I don't want... I mean, the value of constituency... No, project. allocated. Each constituency or each senatorial district, also, for example, all the senators have 200 million naira as their constituency project. But I'm a leader. And that is the difference. Ten of us are leaders, including the ones in the opposition. They get more than the... Uh, the, the floor members. The, yeah, the floor members. It's normal. It's they, they agree. But the difference now eh, is in those days anyway, that decision is taken by the senators. We have what they call Senate Budget Committee before. But now the, the floor members entrusted that to the presiding officers. You understand? That's the difference. So most of the senators don't know what I get. And I will not tell you. Since yeah. I didn't tell my colleagues now, uh, you can tell us here. Yeah. No, because are you better some than of your concerns? Concern. No, my, but my colleagues know that I got better than them, more than them. But you get up, maybe you got up to one billion. It doesn't matter to you now. I told you my colleagues know that I got more than the 200. Maybe 500 and million. And then some, yeah. No, no, well, look, you can't just pull this money from, I've told you the truth now. I got more than uh, the floor senator. It's normal. Because uh, sen uh, Senator, uh, the Senator from Cross River said that by, uh, by, uh, Jari 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 Bia, said, Jari Bia, maybe. all every one of you are corporates. They are in, no. you, are on, uh, you are all in this and you all got and the, the disparity was there. Yeah. It's disparity now. We are not all the same. All animals are equal, but some are more equal. The question is... Wait, what, no, what, I'm what telling you. you. Yeah. All animals are equal, some are more equal than the other. That's other. what the case is. 
that's what the case is. So the question and the, is, and the, the other and the, assume, the other members know that, and they have agreed to that now. Senator, the allocation that I which uh, Senator, perhaps Senator Ningyi was trying to make mm. in the non-transparency of the line items in breaking down the details of the line items. Uh, which amounted to about 3.32 trillion. Yes, I'm going, did, I'm, I'm going to give you the we, why, why didn't the Senate give the breakdown? No, it's not the responsibility of the Senate to do that. Whose, whose responsibility is that? You know, like now, where would the figure, let me give you, please, because the public is watching us and they are listening. You understand? So don't be listening, just calm down. The uh, Nigerian, Justice, um, uh, Nigerian Judicial Council that is the figure that to, to, to uh, we have it we have the we have the we have the table table njc 341 million uh -huh. nas a uh, billion nas. nas 344 billion uh -huh. public complaints commission 14 billion uh -huh. INEC 40 billion uh -huh. and all of that third fund 700 billion all coming to 3.32 trillion thank you why didn't that details been provided to the public? at those organizations is we, we are what for years, for ages, we have been categorizing them as statutory transfers. But it doesn't mean that it should not, the details no, should not be No, it has not been like that. Are you going to change it? Go to INEC. Under, INEC. Sa under Saraki, Wait. Mm. Under Saraki mm. NAS budget, was, the details of NAS project for the first time was given to the public. No, not only NAS. The details of the project have been given for the first time. That's why I said that is an APC government. In PDP, you have never seen that, that kind of a thing. We have been passing budget. I was there in the minority. There's no details. We just passed them. Now, they are, it's the same PDP now that is saying that the, this government is not providing details. In, during PDP, we don't know. We just passed the, 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 the summary of the statutory district. Senator, uh, we're out of time. And I would like you to close by letting the Nigerian people know because there is a lot of distrust in the Senate. And some of your colleagues said the integrity of the Senate is called to question because a lot of the Nigerian people are not benefiting from, from this constituency project. A lot of the constituency projects are abandoned with channel television and budget using the program tracker. We track most of these projects abandoned. Money has been pushed out but no benefit to it. That, what that, can you tell? As a leader in the Senate, the integrity of the Senate is called to question. What guarantee do we have? That is not true. Let me put it capitally. That is not true because the executing agencies are not a uh, National Assembly member. Oh, you have to roll. Wait now. Since that is the to problem. Uh, Shem, when I'm talking, you are talking. <laughs> I mean, when you ask your question, keep quiet so that. But, but Senator, when I when I do not agree with you, I have to cut it. No, but when so we can get clarity, you, you have to me. Let me finish before quiet, you please. say uh, that one is a lie. Why? <laughs> I, I, me, for example. I've been given like the amount allocated to me for my constituency project and then I will now it will be a, a domicile in various ministries. It is that ministry that is responsible for the execution. It is that ministry that selects the contractors. I, you may, will only sign on to it when that project is completed. During Sarazki's regime, only 40%, as Pabio mentioned, was, was executed because that was because it was only funded 40%. But go and check the records. During the Buhari administration, after the, the Army Allowance a, a, a Turnership as a Senate president, the constituency project was 100% funded mm. and they, therefore they are completed. So all these uh, abandoned projects that you see, go and ask the contractor. And the contractor will tell you that he has not been paid. Senator, we need to go. But thank you so much, Senator Aline Dume. I appreciate your time tonight on the program. Okay, thank you, Senator. Say <laughs> so I'm the one. Well, from the video, you could see that it's no more new to Nigerians when they see senators or politicians that they find it very difficult to answer some questions where they are when they are being asked. This actually shows their level of criminality. Because when you say you're a politician and you want to be transparent, you tell Nigerians, you tell your people that you'll be transparent when you get to that position. And at the end of the day, when you get there, you start doing something different. Because Senator Ningi actually exposed a whole lot of things in that house, which has actually brought to a suspension. A whole lot of senators are actually finding it very difficult to open up some things that, that, that will actually be detrimental to their position. That is the reason why you could see that Senator Indume was actually finding it very difficult to answer some questions and he was saying that the people in the Senate actually knows how much that he was giving. What if he's, what, what, what if the money that he was giving to Senator Indume or those people that call themselves the senior the senior senators in the house, the amount they, they were giving was actually more than 500 million that all of them are actually claiming. That is the more reason why Nigerians are actually very concerned about everything that's actually going on because the citizens of Nigeria are actually seeing Senator Ningi presently as as a, as a hero why because he actually did he actually spoke to their face and
and actually told them the truth but let me see and let us let us say that even though he was actually let us say let us assume that he was not actually planning to say all those things maybe because it was he was actually deprived of some particular thing maybe of some, some particular funds in that house maybe that was the reason why he actually filmed that and actually say all those things but nigerians don't even want to care maybe it was just because he was not giving some particular amount of money maybe that's the reason why you actually expose all their shenanigans in the house but now nigeria is still standing with netoningi that actually was that what that everything that I actually said in that house is true and you could see one of the governors in Nigeria actually came out and actually said that they are actually standing they are standing with Sinitoningi that they actually exposed them that everything that he said is actually truth you will see that Shinwaki Baluyi was actually making was actually making just of Sinitoningi Dume in the house because he was bombarding him with a whole lot of questions and you see that this criminality is still very very open and is happening in the day and is happening in the daylight these criminals are working in the daylight and the shenanigans that they are doing is working in the daylight and they are Corruption is a kind of corruption that they are not even hiding it. They are doing it to the face of Nigerians because they believe that Nigerians will not do anything, my people. Shino Kimbaluye is one of those journalists that needs to be applauded because he asks questions fearlessly. He doesn't have any iota of fear for this politicians that is the reason why nigerians are always very interested in listening to every interviews that comes from show knocking my people share this video to every social media platform now before that share your opinion at the comment section let us know what you feel about this video and don't forget to share this video to every social media platform if you cannot share like it give it a thumbs up so that youtube will recommend it for us and if you are coming across this channel for the very first time do where to click the rest of the social button and don't forget to click the bell icon so that youtube will notify you anytime we drop another trendy video see you in our next video bye for now